Hey, what's up everyone? So I know there's a lot of new people with Falcon BMS, being that we had VR implemented this year. So Max has done an incredible job making a interactive learning course, basically. It has 10 courses here, and it basically runs you through in order of what you need to learn for Falcon BMS. Right now we have 197 people actively using this, or signed up for it. So I want this number to go up, so uh, everybody can learn Falcon BMS without being either overwhelmed or um, discouraged to to learn since there's so much stuff so all the time people say read the manuals but that is that is still true I must say that is still true but there is a interactive course you can do as many times as you want and there's tests at the end and there's references to the manuals as well but you can do that at any point in time so I'm gonna show you how that what that looks like here so first you go into the login here so I already have my login, so once you once you get in here, just do, uh, I don't have an account, create an account, sign in with your Google or your Falcon BMS forms, you can do different things. So just sign in there, press login. Once you log in, it'll be on this page, it has all the, the calendar stuff. So here on the main page, or the rest home, you're on the home page here. So right here it has Max's uh, words and how to enroll. Uh, what is requested from the student? How will I learn? So you guys can read this whenever whenever you want But the, my courses are down here. I've done a couple of these they are really really good You you have the ability to learn a lot from them and it'll get you started with Falcon BMS definitely We'll go to the dashboard here here. It has the calendar. Here's my courses. I'm going to click on all courses Got ground school basic flight and navigation I'm going to click on ground school here is cockpit familiarization. I'm going to click on cockpit familiarization. And here is a photo of the cockpit. And it has every single button, switch, and screen on in the cockpit. And uh, not all of them are modeled in BMS, but it's literally the same thing. So you can go over here and you can click on something. Here's, here's the RWR. You click on that. It pulls it up here. It says uh, RWR panel. Shows you what it is. Uh, section 2.6. Uh, radar warning receivers in the BMS uh, Falcon BMS 34-1-1 you can click on that I'm gonna click it goes to another page and actually downloads the manual so you can just reference the manual when when you have when uh, you're looking at this have it open in, in the background you can do that with any of these so here's the the warning panel the fault panel do the same thing section 19 Go over here, here's the radio backup radio click that backup radio 2419 and you can just click on this and you can learn the cockpit without being in the in the in the sim and you can also reference the the manual so i'm going to go back I'm gonna go back one i'm going to go to ramp start so i'm going to click on ramp start it loads and there's actually a video here he, uh, max has this on youtube and on this website and there's chapters in here that tells you exactly where you need to go for certain things so i'm just going to go to the introduction Hello everyone, welcome to this new tutorial on Falcon BMS. Current version is 437 update 2. And there's Max's wonderful voice uh, talking us through how to ramp start. And this is 17 minutes long, so it's not that long for a ramp start, but he goes through every single step following the the uh, the, the checklist. Gonna go back again. So now I'm gonna go to the taxi procedures. Gonna see what that looks like. Not all of them are videos, but it still gets the point across. So here is the uh, rundown of the airport navigation chart uh, manual in the, the BMS folder. So here's a chart of, of Kempo. So you have the runways here, or the taxiways here, the runways there. It tells you what you can get from the from the, the charts, the airport diagrams. goes over the aviation, like standard aviation markings. You got the runway uh, holding position sign, no entry sign, taxiway location sign, and different things like that. Goes over the checklist, a, a very summarized checklist of before taxi and before takeoff. And then also you can take a quiz. So when you're done with the, the, the course, you can take a quiz. There's only like a couple of questions, maybe five or ten or something. You do the questions, you could correct it to 100% afterwards. So you can do that with each each one. Visual references and wing formations. Going to go into here. Go into the course, and it has different 
diagrams of what happens in the air. There's wing formation, two ship, or a line abreast formation with a, a wingman, there's wedge, fighting wing, uh, more wing formations, and a whole other things here. So this is something that you really need to get into if you're interested and want to learn Falcon BMS in an orderly manner and be able to fly in multiplayer. Multiplayer, you still have to go fly with someone. I would recommend flying in a multiplayer because there's some multiplayer things that you can't really get in this course. But this will definitely get you started. So make sure you go to, to, the, web, to the website. I'll have it down below. And uh, sign, sign up for this. And go ahead and comment below if you, if you signed up for it. And if you have any questions, comment below as well. And I'll see you in the next one. See ya.